Alright guys, the BYT is confused, okay, so, alright, hold on. Alright, the Smackdown spoilers, okay, apparently there was a, a mess up with whoever wrote the Smackdown spoilers. They wrote, like, the wrong thing, I don't know how that even happens, apparently they're at the show, I don't know how they write a wrong thing, but okay, so... So there's an article, you click on the article for the WWE Smackdown spoilers, I clicked, it was Wrestling Inc., um, so I read it, and then I was like, okay, this is at midnight, so now it's 2 o'clock, it's 2.41 p.m., same day, technically, because I, I looked at it at midnight, and then I go on WrestleZone, and I look at the Smackdown spoilers, they're completely different. I'm like, okay. So I go back to Wrestling Inc. to see if they changed it. So I click on the Wrestling Inc. Smackdown spoilers. It's like, yeah, we apologize for the inconvenience. Here are the real Smackdown spoilers below. They're the same freaking spoilers from when I looked at it at 12 a.m. So what the fuck? What is it? What, what's the inconvenience? Is WrestleZone the inconvenience or whatever? I don't know what is going on. They say, sorry about the inconvenience, those were wrong, but they're the same fucking things. I know, because I looked at it an hour, basically, after it was posted. I don't, f I don't understand, I really don't. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at Wrestling Inc. first, and then I'm going to go to um, D Wrestle Zone. So, I'm going to go to Wrestle Inc. Spoilers, correction, Corrected Spoilers, it says. We apologize for the inconvenience, but below are real WWE SmackDown spoilers from last night's tapings in Tuscan, Arizona, thanks to the reader Aaron Honeycutt. What a freaking... Never mind. Um, so, here it is. Seth Rollins opened the show and the battleground match with Roman Reigns and D WWE World Heavyweight Champion Dean Ambrose is on. Um, so I'm guessing they're having the match, even though he got suspended. I didn't make a video, because I don't care if Reigns gets suspended. Ambrose interrupts Rollins first, and Sami Zayn, they all issue, but... They all issue challenges, but Sami Zayn versus Seth Rollins is made for tonight. Cesaro defeat Alberto Del Rio. Oh, okay, this... It, the heck? They just changed it. Interesting. Maybe I'm the idiot because it's the same thing as the uh, WrestleZone spoilers. I don't, I don't know what's going on. They must have just changed it. I, I don't know. Like, what the heck? Now I look like the idiot. Um, Sheamus defeated Paulo Cruz by Countout. <laughs> Why? Okay, first of all, this I have a problem with this. I don't have a problem with the opening. I don't have a problem... Actually, I do, because Sami Zayn's in the main event. I really don't have a problem with Cesaro defeating Alberto Del Rio, because I like Cesaro more than Del Rio. But, okay, Sheamus versus Apollo Crews. You have Apollo Crews defeat Sheamus. Okay, fine, whatever. He gets his win. It's not going to lead to anything, obviously, since they're doing this again. Right off, everybody thinks in their head when Apollo Crews gets the win at, um, at uh, Money in the Bank, and it's not going to go anywhere. This guy's never going to be a world champion. This, pro this guy's probably never even going to win the IC title. So, I mean, it's pointless. So then Sheamus, on SmackDown, Sheamus beats Apollo Crews by countout. What the fuck? What's the point of this? G you just have a guy win, and it's over. You don't freaking do 100 matches. That's why when somebody gets a win, it doesn't freaking matter anymore. Because you do, you do the 50-50 shit for three months. It doesn't matter. That's why when Seth Rollins beat Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns is beating every guy he's facing, you're like, holy shit, they're taking this guy seriously. But when you have Apollo Crews, he loses 50-50, he, lo he beats Sheamus, and he loses to Sheamus, he beats Sheamus, he loses to Sheamus, it doesn't freaking matter who wins the big pay-per-view match. They've already beaten each other a hundred times. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Apollo Crews has no fucking charisma. I don't understand why you're even... Why is he on the roster? He doesn't deserve to be. He sucks. Unless you're going to have him talk on his own without any script. I don't want to see this fucking guy in his stupid-ass gymnastics. He's fucking horrible. 
The club confronted the Usos backstage to set up a match. AJ Styles defeated Jimmy Uso with the calf crusher. I, I okay, whatever. I guess this is interesting. The club confronts the Usos. You know, you don't really see that um, too too often. See, okay, for these spoilers suck compared to Wrestle Zones because it's not detailed. It's just the club confronted the back, the Usos backstage to set up a match. Okay, so why isn't there a club versus Usos match? Why is it AJ Styles beating Jimmy Uso? There's no club versus Usos match. I don't. Okay, um, I guess on the on the WWE Smack on the fucking Wrestle Zone. Okay, they said it was uh, the Usos confronted the club and J Jimmy Uso um, challenged AJ Styles to a match. It's not the club. When you say the club confronted the Usos backstage to set up a match, people don't think AJ Styles because AJ Styles isn't fucking there. You never mention AJ Styles. Okay, whatever. Um. Frickin', let's say that. AJ Styles defeat Jimmy Uso with the calf crusher. Good, I'm glad AJ Styles got the win with the calf crusher. But for some reason, on the other site, it says he won with a phenomenal forearm. So I don't know. And I don't understand why the calf crusher and the phenomenal forearm are better than the Styles Clash. I don't understand. Why is everybody kicks out of the Styles Clash, but nobody kicks out of this? I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I've seen people kick out of the cat crusher and phenomenal forearm before, but not as much as the the uh, the other move. I forgot what it was called. Styles Clash. WWE Tag Team Champions The New Day defeated the Vaude Villains. The Wyatt Family confronted The New Day after the match. You see on the other site, it says the Wyatt Family left both teams lying um, in the ring. So I'm guessing, I assume from that, they attacked both teams. This site, it just says the Wyatt family confronted the New Day after the match. Becky Lynch defeated Dana Brooke by DQ, and WWE Women's Champion Charlotte interfered, and Sasha Banks made the save. Great. Why don't you get Sasha Banks cutting promos? I don't, why, why is she just coming out and saving people, and attacking people? Like all the other wrestlers. Why are you, out of all the women, you give Becky Lynch the microphone on Raw? Face pump, she's fucking garbage. Seth Rollins defeats Sami Zayn with a pedigree in the main event. Ambrose was on commentary. The show ended with Rollins getting the upper hand on Ambrose. Okay, at least they're making Rollins look like a badass. At least he's winning. I applaud the WWE. Great job, guys, but the rest of the show's probably going to suck ass. I mean, it does look a little more... It looks better than what the pat like, I've read in the past, but... I don't know. I, I just have a feeling it won't come out good on television. I don't know. Also, guys, I'll be uploading my No Mercy 1999 review, maybe today. And I'm also going to be uploading my... Hopefully, I don't know if this is for sure... My SmackDown Episode 4, remember this is a week before the pay-per-view, the go-home show, you gotta make the go-home show the best, so I don't know if I'm gonna get it um, uploaded by tomorrow, because it'll probably take a while for me to write, it usually takes me an hour and a half to write those shows, but yeah, see you guys later, peace out. Thank you guys for watching. Let me just copy this link here.